welcome back to another video. Today is a moving vlog. I'm moving house on the 1st of July and it is the 27th, I believe. Um, um, I haven't done any packing yet. I've done some clearing out under my bed, but I need to do it more thoroughly, so I need to do it again. Um, tomorrow we're doing the deep clean tomorrow afternoon, so today and tomorrow morning is packing, clearing out. And then Thursday, I'm getting my stuff taken out of my room um, and kept in the car overnight. And I'm going to stay here for the Friday night, drop off the last of my stuff to my dad, and then he's going to keep it in his car until I come back from work and collect the keys at 4 pm. That's just the rundown, so I better get started to be fair. Also, look at this new dress I got yesterday. Let me do this without bashing you. Look how cute it's very white. Yeah, and then I'm wearing. My cowboy boots. So I feel very western today. Yeah, so welcome and I hope you enjoy. I'm back. <laughs> it's like four, maybe now, half three. And this is this is the current situation. That looks actually not bad. I'm sat amongst mass. There's one spot on the floor, you know how it is. Um but I've made progress. And then tomorrow. I need to probably do the clothes, put the clothes in here and the wardrobe in bags, but it shouldn't be too difficult. I'm just getting ready to go to my friend's kind of like birthday thing. Um, we're going to make pizzas all together and then I'm going to go to a kind of housewarming and get together, I wouldn't call it a party, it's not really a party. I'm just taking my curls out and I thought it was a perfect opportunity to sit and talk to you about moving. I have been dreading moving for a long, long time because my room is so beautiful, like I literally am looking at the sea right now. And, you know, that's not common in student housing, like it really, <laughs> Really isn't. It's not something I've been looking forward to in the slightest. I'm a bit sad because my my next house I basically got like the worst out of all of them because we did a you know we picked out of a hat and I'm not thrilled about the new room, but it's a room. I was very upset about it at first, like I did all the paperwork for everyone and found the house and sorted it, but. We did it fair, so I was just unlucky enough to get the one of the worst ones. But that night when I was really upset about it, and I was crying about it to my boyfriend. Um, I kind of just kept saying to myself, "Why am I crying? Like literally, like what am I doing? I'm so privileged to even live in this place, be able to afford it, even with student finance." Now I'm quite excited, no matter what the room's like because I'm gonna make it nice and um my housemates have been kind enough to let me have like a little space in the conservatory just to get light so I'm gonna have like a little desk in there um to do my work so I don't get sad because the, the issue with my room is one there's blue carpet which isn't isn't that deep but it's nowhere in the house that's blue carpet apart from that one so I don't like it but the issue the most for me is the room has like this tiny little window so I don't get much light whatsoever but yeah I'm gonna finish getting ready pack my bag because we're making pizzas pizza pizza but yeah and also I'm gonna wear Lily's hair grip because somebody told me I looked mythical yesterday when I was wearing <laughs> and I just love obscure compliments like that so sorry Lily, but it's back. I'm joking, I'll give it back to you once you're back. How does it look?
done that, so I'm just gonna put the Just try to run those. Yeah. Oh, poor girl. moved in two days ago um it was a emotional process because obviously you can see from my last videos my room was so nice last time to then be in a room where it's like really dark like i'll show you but i couldn't even record when i first got here i swear i've got a stuffy nose because i was just crying because it was like a tiny window i have two doors I'm really going to use one though, um, and it was so dark because the lack of light, it's also got a blue carpet, which isn't the end of the world, but the lack of the light is the main thing, and it also smelled really damp when I walked in, but compared to normal student accommodation, it's really good, so I basically decided, I was going to ask to swap with one of my housemates, because he didn't seem to care that much, but it, we did it the fair way, so I'm going to keep it the fair way and just accept it, because Sometimes, this is what I've been telling myself, sometimes you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. So I've made this kind of a comfortable thing for me, so I'll show you soon what I've done to it, but I'm embracing the darkness, I've brought some fairy lights to my ceiling, and I'm not gonna ever really turn the light on, probably. But yeah. So at the moment it's not done, but that's my tiny little window. That's the only window I've got, um, and it's nine o'clock now. And yes, it's uh, it's quite bright for nine o'clock because it's summer, but that needs to be cleared. I have these drawers, and then this little table which I'm going to replace with a bookshelf. This is the light that they gave me to make it bright, but I'm not going to use it. There's the fireplace and my record player. This is my favourite part of the room so far. Wash bag, basket, mirror. This is my little clothing area. See, there's a door there. It is tinted glass, both of the doors, but um, both the door and the window, but it, you can still see it. Wardrobe, my bed is here, and then there's the mess. Half of this stuff isn't mine, this is her with me. Yeah. Shh, don't tell them. And I'm gonna put a little kind of, another bookshelf there, but um, it's gonna be like a bed sort of table. This isn't done, but there will also be <laughs> there will also be lights up here. Good morning. Um, so I'm just getting ready in front of my window. Today I have yoga this morning. It's quite overcast. Also, I forgot to mention yesterday, my window does not look outside, it looks into another room. So there's also a lack of privacy. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, right now I've got my boyfriend's plants in there and mine. So this is my window in the day, here's another desk. There are all my boyfriend's plants. There are mine. And there's like a breakfast bar here, but it's so fun never choose it up. And there's my little desk. And like, as you walk out my room here, 
You got this too. My fridge. Washing machine. The kitchen is in there. And the living room. And then in here, you've got like a little cupboard and then the shower room. And then in here, it's got my desk. You know what I mean? I want to get a rug for in here. It's quite cold in here actually. Maybe oh, there is a radiator. And the freezer's in here, but the freezer's broken currently. And then you've got like the shower. And the shower confuses me because there is no door. There's a door here that you can lock. There's a door here that you can lock. So basically, if you wanted to get into the conservatory, you couldn't when someone's having a shower. Are you gonna? I'm back from yoga and um, it was, it's about like 10 now I think I left at like half 8 but today I've decided what I'm going to do I'm probably going to have breakfast and then I'm going to read for a bit actually I'm going to try and finish Daisy Jones well I'm Daisy Jones I'm going to try and finish Daisy Jones because <sighs> I just love it and I want to know how it ends but I also don't want to finish it I'm excited. So that's what I'm doing this morning. And then I'm also probably going to sit in the lounge because we have no Wi Fi at the moment and we won't do for another week. And I have no service 4G. So I have no internet whatsoever um, for at least another four days. just finished Daisy Jones and I did cry <laughs> but I always cry at the end of books just for the fact that it's finishing mm, so I stand by what I said before great book great ending <sighs> sad though because this book is so good and that makes me like this is the first book I've read by Taylor Jenkins Reid but I'm just gonna buy the others. But it's, I think it's about two, half two, so I'm gonna go to town now. Get my stuff done. But yeah, I'm so sad. <sighs> I fell asleep. I dreamt about Daisy Jones and the Six. Weird dreams. But not surprised. I was reading it for like three hours straight right before I fell asleep. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I'm gonna go to town because I'm, I'm meeting my boyfriend, but um, I, won't, I won't make it for the shops. I always brush it back. And there's the hair. I've just put my lights up. Ah, thank you, look at the pretty girl. Um, I use little sticky things in each corner. Oh, but I'll just show you. So we go along here, along there. Just like that. And down into that corner. And I think it looks pretty good. Pretty cute. 